Welcome back to another episode of the Courtesy of Court podcast. I'm your host, Courtney Osgood. And guys, today, uh, the guest on the show is literally why I created the podcast. Um, She is not only inspiring, but she is compassionate and sweet and loving. And honestly, we were instant BFFs the minute we started talking. In fact, we already made plans to hang out the next time I'm in Miami. So she is just everything that I always envisioned. And, you know, I started this podcast to uh, create a space where entrepreneurs and small business owners could share their stories of how they got to where they are to hopefully inspire others. And she (laughs) hands down inspired me the entire conversation. And I have no doubt that she's going to inspire you too. Please welcome today's guest, Mimi Gondor, founder of Mimi Yoga. Mimi, thank you so, so much for joining me today. How are you? I'm great. Thank you, Courtney, for having me. Of course. So now, where are you? Are you in Miami right now? I am in Miami, yes. How is everything going there? I mean, I know the world is is crazy right now, but how's everything going? It's going. It's going. (laughs) You got, you got, you got to keep going. You got to keep flowing. Honestly, Courtney, I am not watching the news. Um, Things are going, things are starting to open up again. Um, I know that schools are not open. The reason I say schools is because my daughter is here at home, homeschooled. So it's one day at a time. We really don't know what's going on. And I decided to stop watching the news months ago. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. First of all, I can't believe that you're a mom and you have this global platform that we're going to talk about because I'm not a parent yet, but I cannot even imagine wearing all the hats i like commend you like thank you thank you thank you i became a mom at at 21 years old i i started really young yeah wow that is incredible <laughs> so I have two, two kids a business uh and life right <laughs> Okay. Well, speaking of life. Okay. So before we dive into the the platform that is incredibly successful, I do want to understand a little bit more about your background with yoga. So I understand that it kind of saved your life. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? It did did save my life, Courtney. So I moved to uh, Miami six years ago and I moved from Saudi Arabia. So you can only imagine the the difference between the USA and Saudi Arabia. Huge difference. So I moved because I had to move. I had to move for my daughter who suffers a a muscle condition. Um, So she has special needs. And uh, the best uh, choice was to to make that move for her because the U.S. has all the, the care that she needs. And it's not easy to move, Courtney. You know, like, like sure. I, I moved. All of a sudden, I did not plan for the move. I just came here for the summer and I'm like, okay, I'm not going back. I'm staying here. Right. So I was, it it was difficult. It was hard to, to, to mingle, to find my community, to leave my life over there. Yes. It's Saudi Arabia. Yes. It's different than the U S yes. I love my freedom in the U S but still, you know, I had a life over there. So one what eight months after i moved i decided there was this voice that was calling me and saying mimi step on your mat your mat will save you yoga will save you and i was i was depressed i was very depressed and i stepped on my mat and there was the journey the journey began right there five and a half years ago i stepped on my mat and i was hooked i kept showing up every single day it saved me. It saved me mentally. You know, yoga is, is, is a work in, it's not a work out. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. you work in and then you, you work from the inside out. Right. So that's it. It's a, it's definitely a mind body. It really is. It's not just about the physical. It's about the emotional, the spiritual connection. A hundred percent. And, and you do get a good workout. Don't oh, absolutely. Wrong. I mean, I mean, people think that, oh, yoga is, is boring and this and that and they come to my class and they're like oh my god that was like intense you know? and then they can't walk the next day and they're like oh wow that was harder <laughs> exactly. than exactly I- they're sore they're this they're that yeah exactly so so okay so now understanding the background on that um you just launched mimi yoga like a couple of months ago but before you even launched i'm told you had like over 2500 people register in like what 30 or something countries how did that even happen okay so i 
quarantine started, right? I was, I took, I was in Saudi Arabia doing a teacher training in February, February, 2020, when things were just like normal, 2020 mm -hmm. is a great year, all that stuff. I go to Saudi Arabia. I do my teacher training, yoga teacher training. I certify my students. And then things started to, to escalate with, with Corona. So, so Saudi Arabia announced that they are closing the airport until further notice. I took the last flight out of Saudi Arabia, which was March 15. All oh right. I flew from Saudi Arabia all the way to Miami. 26 hours later, I landed in Miami. And I just did not want to accept the fact that we were we are going to be quarantined and things are going to shut down and things started to shut down like every single day it just kept getting worse and worse and worse and i was plugged to the tv watching the tv i'm i'm, I'm talking about march 6 months ago yeah 14 yeah and i started to get depressed i'm like i can't do this i need to go to the studio and teach what how am i going to teach how am i going to this how am i going to that my daughter started doing virtual school Anyways, I was like, you know what? Enough, Mimi. A, a month up into quarantine, I was like, enough. You have a community. You have built a community throughout the past years, your yoga community. You can do what you want to do online, right? Because community doesn't have to be in person. Absolutely. You can have a community online. And we are nothing without a community. And especially at this time, where you know people are losing their lives people are losing their jobs uh, people are uncertainty it's like you don't know what to do you know right. and and i was like i'm doing this i am starting to teach online so i started to teach for free i was like everybody's welcome i have a big following on instagram i've been building my instagram for years so i started to i mean you know instagram is the window to the world it's the yeah. best place to 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 promote yourself basically so I started to post Zoom session tomorrow, 9 a.m. Everybody is welcome. And I was like, I don't know if people are going to show up. 81 people showed up. Wow. You know? <laughs> yes. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, and I, and I connected with people that I haven't seen in ages. And I connected with people that were like, Mimi, we've been following you for years. And our, our dream, I'm in Guatemala. My dream is to do yoga with you. But because you teach in Miami, I can't do yoga with you. Oh so God. this is how it started. And I'm I getting chills. I'm getting chills. <laughs> and it's just an incredible healing community that supports one another. There is no judgment on my platform. You want to show up in your pajamas. You want to turn off your camera. You want to come in with purple hair. I don't care. Just do you, you know? Yeah. Step on your mat, show up and show up for yourself before you show up for anyone so this is how it started and then my friends i had to i'm gonna go a little bit personal uh, i filed for divorce i had to downsize my life during this time oh my during God. the same time so i moved out of my house i moved into an apartment i am super happy with the downsize because less is more. Yeah. And, and then my friend told me, my friend was like, Mimi, you need to start your platform, MimiYoga.com. I'm like, uh, I don't know. I'm good with Zoom. And he's like, no, you've been, you've been teaching eight, eight classes a day, Courtney. You know, I was hustling and teaching and it was like an addiction, you know? Yeah. I, I start at 7 a.m. I don't finish till 5, 6 p.m. Zoom wow. after Zoom after Zoom after Zoom. So I was Zooming my way through the day. <laughs> I feel like that's a lot of people's days right now. I'm just Zooming through the day. Yeah. It's like, it's, it, you know, so, so I was like, okay, let's do it. And my best friend in Saudi Arabia, who I grew up with, she invested in the platform. She said, what do you need? I'll, I will give it to you. Just oh. start. Just do it. And this is how it came together. And we, la we launched almost two months ago, the, the, the platform, MimiYoga.com mm -hmm. launched. Uh, it's, it's amazing. We have 32 countries. Wow. It's a global oh. community. It's, it's amazing. Okay, wait. So do you, would you, before, let's say this didn't happen. Let's say the coronavirus pandemic didn't happen. Do you think you would have launched or is this something that you always wanted to do or, you know, 
What do you think? It, do you this, think? Is, this is something I always wanted to do, especially the past year. I was thinking really like I was thinking into like to do it because I have a I have an international following, you know, and especially mm -hmm. in Saudi Arabia, my following, a lot of them are from Saudi Arabia. So I'm like, how can I get to them? How can maybe I just do a YouTube channel like, you know, but quarantine made me do it now. Like it made me take action. Would have I would have I done it as fast if there was no Corona, no COVID? No, I'm not yeah. gonna lie to you. No, I would have done it maybe in years, maybe never have done it. Yeah. You know, sometimes you need to get uncomfortable in order to create, in order to 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 move forward. You need to get uncomfortable, and this is what happened, really. So you were juggling so much with a business and your personal life. How how did you, I guess, continue to find inspiration and, and continue to find the positivity in such a like a tumultuous time? Faith. Faith. That's beautiful. You no, know, I I I have strong, strong faith. I I some days, Courtney, I was not able to get out of my bed honestly, mm -hmm. um, with, with my daughter's condition, with a lot of personal mm -hmm. stuff in my marriage, my family and all that stuff. And I, and faith, I believe in the power of prayer, you know, and you don't have to be a religious person to pray. Mm -hmm. Just, just, just pray, you know, and faith, faith got me through and, and kindness, you know, you, you heal through kindness, you heal through, your community, really, the communities, the support of the community is so beautiful. That's why community is so important, a positive community, a community that gets you, that's going through healing as well, that has, right. that, 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 that's going through shit, excuse my language. I don't know if I can say that word. You here, can. Yeah, <laughs> you know? Well, and I feel like right now people are, I mean, not just with the pandemic, but just all walks of life. I think a lot of people are struggling with a lot of different things and there are positives that are coming out of this, but there are also some negatives. And I think everyone's just trying to like figure out what their new normal is and get back on their feet in whatever way that means. So I totally agree with you in that, in that sense. Hundred percent. And, and human, human beings, it, human, the human body, the human brain is so incredible that we are so adaptable. You know, yep. you have to adapt. Yes. You know, there's, you, you either adapt, you flow or you go. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, okay. That leads me to my next question now. So on your platform, you've got this like three tiered kind of structure. I understand. Tell me about Correct. it. And then Correct. Mimi Yoga, who I is love, that for? I love that. You know, you know, you know so much about the platform. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I did my research. All right. So, so the platform is basically open for you to choose the way you want to practice okay you choose so a lot of my subscribers are beginners mm -hmm. they're just starting their yoga journey all right and of course when you start your yoga journey you're not gonna go straight into a one hour class that's intense that's power class no you start it's progress over perfection so there is the build section which is individual poses warrior one for example mm -hmm. how do i get into a warrior one so it dissects the pose the foundation the whole structure it's like a two minute video that's it okay and then there's all the individual poses in the build section and then from there you go into the grow section so the grow section is you know you want to you want to flow on the go you want to take a 20 minute core uh, class you want to take a lower back pain class you don't want to flow for an hour you just want to do a 20 minute workout which is more than enough yeah you know? this is the grow section okay and then the flow is 45 minutes to one hour it's a full class uh again you can pick which one there's a heart opener there's there's this i my personal favorite is the sweat it's the power flows because i am a big believer that salt water heals and your sweat is is salty it's salt water yeah. yeah so it's important to sweat it's very important to sweat i love and that we have the section sorry to interrupt you we have the section for chanting uh it might be 
uh, awkward or weird for some people. I get it. I used to think it was weird, but chanting is considered to be a, a type of meditation. Mm -hmm. So we chant mantras. Uh, mantra means protection for the mind. Mm -hmm. That's the meaning of mantra. Mm -hmm. So we chant mantras. Uh, it's not for everyone, but I recommend people to, to, to try it with an open mind. I also teach three live classes. This is all part of the membership. Uh, three live classes a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And these classes are saved. And you can go back, let's say, Courtney, I couldn't show up for the Monday live class. You can go back on the platform. The live class is there. It's saved. You can take it. And what's beautiful about the live class is it's the whole community. You know? Yeah. You get to, you get to interact. Yeah. Awesome. And you it's mentioned like earlier, you, too. You and I now interacting. It's right. It's amazing. I, right. I know. And especially now with some of the restrictions that are in place, I feel like people are needing that connection, even if it is virtual. Well, obviously nothing's going to replace that human sort of in-person, you know, interaction. I do feel like, you know, something about seeing somebody, something about seeing somebody else. But you also mentioned too, though, that if someone doesn't want it, they're not, maybe not comfortable in their surroundings or like with themselves and they don't want to turn their camera on. They don't have to. They can still they turn it off. Okay. Awesome. Absolutely. I, I, let's say I have 45 people on the live class. Uh, maybe five people will have their cameras off and it's okay. Yeah. You know, you, you do you. No judgment. You you. No judgment. Awesome. Yeah. Love it. That's really cool. I'm actually going to check it out too after this. I mean, I already did a little bit of research. Yes. Check it out because I know there's different options. Um, okay. So what with this podcast, I want to not only just tell stories of like inspiring entrepreneurs like yourself, but really I want to inspire others. So I have this thing. I'd like to know this kind of a quick fire section. What are you sipping on? So like what's your go-to like drink right now? It could be a cocktail. It could be water. It could be just like infused, you know, vitamin water. It is a, it is a cocktail. It's a skinny margarita. Oh, nice. Okay. Wait, do you make them at home? Are you like... Uh, I try to make them at home. Okay. It doesn't taste as good as the, the, the bar or, or the, right. the restaurant or whatever. But yeah, I try. I have a salty um, palate. You know, I, I, I love salty stuff. So skinny margarita is my favorite. Oh, I love it. Okay, perfect. And okay, so if you're going to go to the pantry and you need a snack, what are you snacking on? Chips. Chips. Any kind of specific chip? Uh, Cheetos. Oh, I love Cheetos. They're my favorite. My favorite. Okay, wait, so I love this. So you're like, you're into fitness and like a healthy healthy lifestyle, but you can have Cheetos. It's about balance, right? Absolutely. Of course. Absolutely. You can have anything and everything, but you can't have it all at the same time. Right. Yes, exactly. Sure. Exactly. That's what life's about. I eat everything. I, am, I, I respect vegans. I respect people who don't eat chips and don't drink alcohol great you know mind right. your own mind right your own so but i eat everything everything love it okay so um also i don't know if you're if you are netflix or hulu kind of kind of girl but are you anything you're watching or reading or listening to that you're like super into right now untamed what is that that's the most incredible book that you should read and every single human on this planet should read untamed. it's by glennon doyle okay untamed i have half of my followers are reading it right now and they keep tagging me every single day um it is a life changer a life changer it speaks the beauty of this book is it speaks to every single human in this world Wow. Whether you're married, you're not married, you have kids, you don't have kids, you're heartbroken, you're not heartbroken, it doesn't matter. It speaks to every single human. So read it. Love it. Love it. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that on my list. I the have last, a literal running list. I watched, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it on your list. The last thing I watched on Netflix was the beginning of quarantine, Tiger King. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. It was fun. It was. It was. Fun yeah. I feel like that's like such a, it's such a layered show. It's like an onion and you're just like, what? You think it's like, it's ha you've had enough and there's just another layer like, what? It's insane. Exactly. Like, insane. what is going on? Does this, this really exist? Is this real? Yeah. yeah I, is this real? <laughs> crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, uh, thank you so much. I want to be cognizant of your time. Um, this was so much fun. So if anybody's interested in 
learning more about Mimi Yoga or about just following you or connecting with you, how can they find you? They can, f the best way to find me, honestly, number one is Instagram. Uh, okay. Number two is, an, is email, via email. Uh, so yeah, Instagram or email, I, I promise I respond to everyone. I do. I'm very active. And um, what's your Instagram handle? It's Mimi Licious underscore M I A. Perfect. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Um, and I will make sure to include all the information also in the show notes for those that are listening so they can find you that way as well. Um, thank but thank you, you again so much. This was so much fun. I feel like I could talk to you all day. So, me too. <laughs> I'm really enjoying that. We need, to, we need to have a happy hour with Robin sometime. Right? Yeah, I know. That would be so much fun. And um, if you ever come to Miami, let me know. I actually we'll love Miami. A skinny, mar a skinny margarita. <laughs> that sounds so good. I come to Miami at least once or twice a year, which sounds like not a lot, but actually I think it is. Um, but yeah, no, I will definitely let you know because I would love, and especially after all this craziness subsides, I would love to grab a skinny mark. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. I would love to meet you in person. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Courtney. Of Have course. a beautiful day. Thank you. And thanks to everyone listening. Please um, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review an Apple podcast. And to watch the video segment from today's episode, you can head to courtesyofcourt.com and everything will be posted there. We'll see you next week.